What a change a decade can make in the industry's outlook. In 2010, our phones and computers were powered by batteries. By the end of the decade, they're powering our cars and homes as well. The boom in lithium-ion battery production over the last 10 years has driven prices down to the point where electric vehicles are now economically feasible from the aspect of both cost and performance for the first time in history. Over the past decade, ever lower costing batteries have made electric vehicles more competitive in terms of pricing. However, increasing demand for EVs may potentially threaten to reverse this trend. The struggle to secure critical materials will become increasingly important. In today's video, we'll talk about the potential rising cost of batteries, the variables that are contributing to the increase, and the consequences for the customer. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved, and we feature them in upcoming videos. Batteries Catching Fire is it true that electric vehicles have a higher risk of catching fire? Most likely not. However, batteries on the other hand burn for a longer period of time, causing greater harm to the vehicle and delaying the discovery of the underlying problem. The total cost of electrification includes the expense of repairing it. A series of fires and recalls has refocused public attention on the dangers of lithium-ion batteries. GM has recalled 142,000 vehicles, and Hyundai has recalled 82,000 vehicles, both due to the possibility that batteries could catch fire in rare situations. In contrast to components for typical gasoline vehicles, the world's automakers source all of their electric vehicle batteries from a small number of Asian companies. Only four of them, actually. LG, Samsung SDI, Panasonic, and CATL are involved in the production of high-end batteries, and they are all operating at or near their maximum capacity. In order to replace the old batteries, you need to halt the creation of new ones, raising the possibility of a shortage as automakers seek to increase production. Recalls are also extremely expensive, putting a strain on the business models of battery manufacturers. As a result, more expenses may have to be passed along to automotive manufacturers and their customers, which is us. One explanation of rising battery fires is that there are more electric vehicles on the road than ever, with global sales of electric vehicles nearly doubling. Governments and automakers have set ambitious goals for themselves, including a complete transition to electric vehicles. Volvo, Jaguar, and Cadillac are just a few of the automakers who have announced plans to phase out gasoline-powered vehicles by 2030. By 2025, the achievement of those aims is predicted on two assumptions, that battery manufacturers will be able to increase capacity to meet demand while keeping prices low. For the time being, the overall trend appears to be positive. The cost of batteries, which are the most expensive component on an electric vehicle, is reducing steadily. The price differential between electric vehicles and their gasoline counterparts has been reducing, with parity expected within three years from now. However, while the cost of batteries has decreased, the cost of battery replacements has increased. The chemicals contained within lithium-ion batteries are extremely flammable, and so a short circuit or fault within the battery cells can be explosive. But then, so is gasoline. But there is a difference in the cost of repairing the component. Most of the gasoline vehicle recalls are due to faulty equipment, such as airbags, floor mats, and ignition switches, which are relatively simple to replace. Approximately 3 million Ford automobiles were recalled in January 2021 due to airbag concerns, resulting in a $610 million cost, or an average cost of $200 per car. On the other hand, for electric car recalls, the average cost is unavoidably greater, since the battery pack represents around 40% of the total automobile price. The most recent General Motors Chevrolet Bolt recall cost $1.8 billion, or an average of $12,700 per vehicle. 
Hyundai's overall cost for this recall was projected to be $900 million, or around $11,000 per vehicle. As a result, battery manufacturers who already operate on razor-thin profit margins bear a disproportionate share of the financial burden. Operating margins of LG Chem's electric car batteries units were only 1.4%, despite the fact that the company supplies batteries to companies such as Tesla, Porsche, and BMW. Since the commencement of production at Tesla's battery gigafactory four years ago, Panasonic's counterpart has lost every year but one. The fact is that rising costs are escalating the problem, which is critical. Since the beginning of the year, the average price for lithium carbonate, one of the two primary chemicals used in the batteries, has more than doubled, reaching $16,500 per metric ton in August of this year. It is expensive to increase production capacity. LG, for example, plans to invest $12 billion from now until the end of 2025 to construct the facilities necessary to meet demand. Also, the shipping prices from Asia to Europe have increased exponentially. When taken together, these elements have the makings of a supply bottleneck which has drawn comparisons with the months proceeding up to the current semiconductor scarcity. Not only is it likely that costs will rise as a result, but it will also make it more difficult for auto firms to reach their targets for ushering in the electric vehicle revolution, and more likely, customers will be at the receiving end. Toyota Taking Safety Precautions The increased demand for the battery has undoubtedly attracted the attention of the market's big sharks. As a result, we are seeing corporations such as Toyota invest money in battery manufacturing facilities. The corporation pursues a strategy that is identical to that of its global competitors. General Motors, Ford, and Volkswagen have all stated that they intend to construct their own battery manufacturing facilities. Volkswagen, Toyota's closest competitor in terms of sales, has not announced how much it plans to invest in these plants. However, they stated that by 2030, they would be able to create batteries with an annual output of 240 gigawatt hours of electricity in Europe alone. Toyota added that by the same deadline, its plants will generate about 200 gigawatt hours of batteries. As part of a plan to spend approximately $13.5 billion on batteries overall, the company will invest approximately $9 billion in battery production, with the remaining funds going toward research and development. Toyota has taken longer to introduce an electric vehicle to the market than some of its competitors because the company wants to provide consumers with a suitable balance of safety, pricing, and performance. It has been working on a solid-state battery for years with a solid electrolyte the material through which electrons flow as they pass between the battery's terminals. Lithium-ion batteries, such as those seen in electric vehicles and smartphones today, have a liquid electrolyte. Solid-state batteries might theoretically carry more power and recharge faster than liquid electrolyte batteries because they don't have the same fire risk. The Conclusion For automakers already dealing with a chip disaster, the combination of rising demand for electric vehicles and difficulties in obtaining raw materials may result in battery supply constraints. When the chip scarcity is no longer an issue, the primary supply scarcity that the firm would be confronted with might be batteries. Because expansion will take time, the production capacity of battery cells will be limited in the next few years. Automakers around the world are fast incorporating electric vehicles into their lineups as governments set deadlines for phasing out sales of recent combustion engine vehicles in order to fulfill climate change commitments. The demand for lithium-ion batteries from transportation and energy storage is expected to increase to as much as 5.9 terawatt-hours per year by 2030, putting pressure on supply networks. In order to get the situation under control, large corporations such as Volkswagen, Ford, Tesla, and Toyota may be required to take a role, or customers will be forced to suffer the increasing costs. 
While this may lessen the demand for electric vehicles, it may also result in the failure to achieve the objective of electrifying the entire country by 2035. What are your thoughts? Despite the fact that electric vehicle sales are fewer than 5%, do you believe there are enough battery manufacturers throughout the world to meet demand? Let us know in the comment section. The Lucinate from our video, Neo's Insane Update, left a remark stating that he admires both Neo and Lotus, as well as the fact that they both are looking forward to doing business together. If you'd like to see what we talked about in that video, click the first link down below the like button. And that should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.